Here is an example of a problem for torque using the rotational version of Newton's second law. There are many steps you need to take to solve such a problem. You need to read the problem for torque and other rotational variables. You should solve for moment of inertia and kinematic quantities first, if possible. You must draw the free body diagram and use it to set up your torque table to keep track of your variables. Set up the torque version of Newton's second law and solve for the unknowns while substituting in for quantities you may have solved for previously. Check your solution by rereading the problem, as well as comparing against your free body diagram. Here is an example for a device consisting of two thin rods with multiple forces creating torque. Read the problem for variables for moment of inertia, kinematic quantities, and torque. Calculate the easy quantities first. Start with moment of inertia. Followed by the kinematic quantities. If you calculate both, you can use them to calculate the net torque. Set up your free body diagram. Declare your coordinate system. And use that to fill out the torque table, paying special attention to the direction of the angles. Set up the equation for net torque, which you previously calculated using Newton's second law. Express in terms of the variables and solve for the unknown. Plug in with units paying attention to the directions.
check your solution steps for all variables and plugins, recalling that the free body diagram can help you with this.